Qatar is a strategic partner uh, with UNHCR. We have been working with the Qatari government and Qatari civil society organizations for many years. Uh, we have a privileged relationship with the government of Qatar. We receive unearmarked funding uh, to support our core budget from the government of Qatar, which we appreciate very much because it gives us flexibility in responding to uh, emerging disasters. On the other hand, we uh, have very strong relations with uh, NGOs in Qatar, like Qatar Charity, like Aid, uh, like Education Above All, and most importantly with Sheikh Thani bin Abdullah, our largest uh, eminent advocate and supporter of UNHCR worldwide. Yemen is one of our largest operations, and as you rightly mentioned, uh, we have a very big number of people who need assistance in Yemen, both uh, internally displaced people and the refugees. We are calling on the international community all the time, including GCC countries, to keep supporting Yemen and the Yemeni people, especially in the aftermath of uh, Ukraine that took away a lot of attention from crises like Yemen, like Afghanistan, like many situations that we do not want to become forgotten in the middle of whatever else is happening in the, in the world. A situation like Syria is very difficult to describe because people were already living in a disaster. And on top of that, the earthquake came, so the situation became compounded. In the humanitarian system, we have a term to describe armed conflicts. We call them complex emergencies. But a situation like Syria became beyond complex. I think it became super complicated, compounded. We are appealing to donors and partners to uh, consider UNHCR as a vehicle for support, especially in this period where people need above all shelter and non-food items to continue uh, living in these difficult situations.